Chaz has met somebody that has the Medal of Honor. He's so excited. Trying to be obvious with this phone. The people don't like that, but I know Chaz would appreciate the moment. Oh, it's two elephants. <clears throat> you might get a picture with him. Everybody, what happened? Now, don't get my shirt and stuff. I got your shirt. So, I happened to meet a Medal of Honor recipient. It was Colonel Arnie Barnum. Um, served in during Vietnam. And he happened to be eating right where we were. Leaving in that truck. Yeah. I saw the plate and I said, There's only one way that you can get that. And I just couldn't believe that. I have to look him up because I don't know none of his history. I don't know nothing about him. But if you know anything about the military, Medal of Honor, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> and this is crazy. I never thought in my life that I'd actually meet that. This this, uh, this honor right here is, is, is given to you by the president and the president only. And it's for something way, 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 like way up there. But like I said, I don't know what it is that he did. I might have to look him up. Even as old as he is, he kind of like stung my arm a little bit. I didn't want <laughs> like when he had popped my arm, it kind of hurt. <laughs> so yeah, now I got this coin. Uh, he must keep him around for special reasons just like that. Whatever happened to your daughter? I'm sorry, go ahead. Keep Who? going. Keep on. You finished? Yeah, besides my arm hurting a little bit. He got he kind of has some power on him still. That lady said that she outranked him because she's the general. Because he's, he's, he's his wife. But yeah. definitely gonna keep this. I gotta find Show my other people. one. That's it. Mm -hmm. Kinda glad we came down here today. Never thought that would happen. We made it all worth all that I nasty did. food. All that nasty food. I got that was all worth it. Medal of Honor recipient. I'll be happy with it. He said he was going to wait for some ice cream too, but he said the machine was worth So. Fire swept ground and cow's disease mounted rapidly. Lieutenant Barnum quickly made a hazardous reconnaissance of the area seeking targets for his artillery, finding the rifle company commander mortally wounding Wounded and the radio operator killed, he, with complete disregard for his own safety, gave aid to the dying commander. Then he removed the radio from the dead operator and strapped it to himself. He immediately assumed command of the rifle company. Rifle company and moving at once into the midst of heavy fire rallying and giving encouragement to all units. He reorganized, give me it, stop. Reorganized them to replace the loss of key personnel and led their attack on enemy positions from which daily fire continued to come. His sound and swift decisions and obvious calm served to stabilize the badly decimated units and his gallant example as he stood exposed repeatedly to point out targets served as an inspiration all provided with two armed helicopters. He moved fearlessly through enemy fire to control the air attack against the firmly entrenched enemy while skillfully directing one platoon in a successful counterattack and he enemy positions. Having thus cleared a small area, he requested and directed the landing of two transport helicopters for the evacuation of the dead and wounded. He then assisted in the mopping up and final seizure of the battalion's objective. His gallant initiative and heroic conduct reflected great credit upon himself and were in keeping with highest traditions of the Marine Corps and United Naval Service. All that. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Let me write your story up. so we can make some money. There's a destroyer named after this guy? Man, you should have took a close Bro, picture, now, man. oh my God. <laughs> There's literally a ship named after him. 
I just can't believe who I just met. Let me write you a book so it can turn into a movie so we can both get to come up. I'm, I'm sure. Oh, Chubb is crying, y'all. I'm not crying. What you are you got talking tears about? in your eyes. Why would I have tears? I'm, I'm not... looking right at you. Y'all, he touched. I can see him. Let him fall. You, you really got tears in your eyes. You, I had look. ice cream for him. Oh, he think, <laughs> y'all, he's crying. He got, he know, he's okay. It's emotional. I get it. He got a ship named after him. Like, you just okay. met somebody. Like legit. Yeah. Save some batter. He don't want y'all to see him cry. <laughs> I got a cookie dough one. This one looks pretty good. I don't know. What one was this one? Um, Cotton candy. candy. But I got like strawberry ice cream. Yeah, mine's already starting to melt, so I gotta hurry up and eat mine. So far. These little ones seem to like the cotton candy, then all of a sudden decided they didn't. This big one is. <laughs> she, she likes the cotton candy. I don't want it. Give me some, Layla. Wait a second. Let me eat my cookie. I hear people make noise. I thought you know it was good. Shut up. Okay. You're making noise. <laughs> he wants Lily wants the gummy. It's a cookie. No, it's not. It's an ice cream. Plus, it's from sandwich. Yeah, this is an ice cream it's sandwich. Stopping. Hold on, you'll get it. Give me a second. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's too hard. It is. You gotta be careful. Okay. You spilling iPhone. I know. All on the truck. You're not gonna eat that, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you grabbed it with a spoon. I was trying to get it up. You got wiped. Get it up now. I'm a good piece of cookie down. Good. You don't like it? You ate the half of it already. Well, everybody seems to be enjoying this one. It's better than the food. Yeah, the food's not all that. The, the ice orders. cream. Shut up, Layla. You got the itis? Stop, Layla. Layla, cut it out. The ice cream is where I it's at. Stop, Layla. Layla. Hey, you want some more of this? Mind to put that up, mind to get some ice cream. Mommy done ate all the day going hey, Layla, you cotton want candy. A cookie? Right. No, she, remember she don't like ice cream. No, that's why I gave a cookie. Okay, <laughs> you want the gummy? So, guys, all in all, the food was nasty. Yeah. The milkshakes are pretty good pretty good but I mean it's ice cream Stop. with extra stuff on it so it just looks cool and fancy I'd rather go five minutes up the street oh yeah I'm totally not gonna <laughs> to uh, battlefield uh, like literally five minutes from them so but yeah I'd rather do that than drive an hour it was not worth the drive well, but we didn't come up here for that we did not come up here for that but we also met somebody that was really cool yeah so I think that was worth it oh for me well, I didn't meet that him I saw awesome. him from a distance yeah, I, I just can't believe I met somebody like that. He's spilling ice cream on his shoe. Yeah, it'll be alright. I wonder why he's gonna do ice cream. don't <laughs> like ice cream. Wait, look. <laughs> Only kid in America who don't eat ice cream. Yeah, it's my daughter. Okay. You want some ice cream? You want some ice cream? Okay. Layla. I'm mine. You did that on purpose. Okay. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, little stuff. It's messed up. It's stuck in there. It's wet. We'll get it. Wait. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our page, Tall Lights and Style. 
on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Right? Yeah. Right. Alright, y'all. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. See you later. Look at this. Yes, oh, they kiss. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands.